Hello guys, welcome to Nature's Heritage Network. Today I'm just doing a freestyle video. Uh, this is the community where I live in Enugu State, southeastern part of Nigeria. And the, our community is called Ozala, in one of the local governments in uh, Nkano West, precisely, in Enugu State. So we have this unique culture in this community. Almost every compound we have farm. Any little space, we just convert them to farms, gardens and all that. Yeah, um, right there, beside my house, See that's my house there. Yes. Okay. That's my house behind me. Yeah, yeah. That's my house behind me. Oh, this is a neighbor's uh, compound, and this is a neighbor's house. So, of course, I have the permission to uh, do this video from. But uniquely, we have this type of soil. I want you to see it. Okay, let me turn the video to it. So. So, uh, we have this type of soil, and the soil is more of stones and granites, you know, and stuff like that. But it grows our crop, as you can see. We have beautiful green plants. These are maize, we have melon, we have okra. This, this farm is my neighbor's farm. It has crop with a lot of things like this. Um, bitter yam, uh, okay. So that's the three leaf yam, that's Korea, I think. Um, I can't remember precisely. All right, so that's that's that. This this is an Ugu farm. Practically grow everything we eat. This is just cassava that is coming up into a crop with 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 maize. So everywhere you just see this is the type of soil we have. It's not it's not smooth, it's just like this. So before we do anything, we will definitely have to till. That's what makes farming a little bit challenging here. So every compound you see. And of course the tilling eventually became an opportunity for some persons to make money. Yeah, so for some persons to make money and yeah you see young people youth and all that tilling and getting paid for it so some other sorts of income but in some other places you, you don't just need to till this much before you you um plant but here in ozala we must do this if we don't do this of course we will not get some things out of our land So guys, when we, when we are preparing the places with plants, initially the soil is like this, as bare as this. The next thing we do we is to till. So we till and get the soil loosened up, just like you are seeing in the video now. All right. So after doing this, before we eventually form them into ridges and beds so like this then we till to be become like this to loosen up so that we can actually easily manipulate and form them into beds ridges or even hips so after tearing and loosening it up we form them into stuff like this these are ridges that we used to now do the plant you can see they are beautifully done right. so we practically grow what we eat in this community this is my vegetable farm this is my neighbor's cassava and maize farm just coming up but as you can see look at the soil but even at that we get everything we we need from this soil. You can see all granite compared to normal 
almost smooth soil we have in other parts of uh, the southern part of Nigeria. But Osa is uniquely known for for this kind of granite soil, so to speak. All right, so this is my vegetable farm. So I've made several beds. Well, I have about 30 beds here. I planted ugu, I planted maize, and this is okra. So as you can see, it's um, quite an expanse. But the beautiful thing is that we grow what we eat in this community. All right. So yes, the soil is fertile, but then we have to enhance and you know enhance quite a lot. As if you, you can hear the sound of pigs, there is a pig grid down that way, and uh, this is where we put by my farm. There is a place where we dump the droppings. So that's the pig poop. Yeah. Oh, see. All right. But of course, it's a very good source of manure. Now, if you can see by the side, this is charcoal mixed with pig poop. So eventually, what I'm getting here is biochar, and this is my major source of uh, organic manure in this place. Well, some other persons sometimes we enhance with you know inorganic fertilizer, but mainly this is where I get my manure from. Sometimes I can also use uh, foul droppings. Yeah, I can also use foul droppings. All right, so this is my young farm. I'm just showing you the beauty of our community here in Ozala, in Kanu West of Enugu State. So, this is the beauty of what we have. I'll show us more uh, farmlands and all that. So this is the beauty of Ozala community.